Hey guys, um, what's up? Uh, this is uh, me again doing some more tech stuff. And in this video, I am going to be showing you how to upgrade your PC, PC's RAM, alright, uh, from whatever you have currently, 4GB or 8GB, to whatever you can have next, say 12 or 16 gigs. Now, the current PC I'm using, it is already upgraded. Uh, so I'm just going to be showing you how you can upgrade your own PC. I'm going to be showing uh, any uh, the PC I'm going to be upgrading is the HP Pavilion. This can also work for other A uh, Acer and Dell variants that have the same kind of hardware. I'll be showing you the hardware that this PC does have. First of all, I'm going to show you the couple of requirements that you need. First of all, you need a RAM. So you just want to go online. But before you can buy a RAM, you need to go to your company's website. Alright, suppose this is an HP laptop, so I'm going to go to hp.com. Uh, if you have an Acer laptop, you need to go to the Acer website. If you have a Dell laptop, you need to go to the Dell website. And after that, you need to go to wherever you can get support. Alright, see, I'm going to support uh, and go to... Uh, software and drivers or whatever you have to the respective website I'm just gonna click on software and drivers you want to go down uh, select your product all right I'm gonna just be entering my serial number all right it's gonna be written on the back of your uh, device it will be clearly mentioned uh, serial so I'm just gonna type in my whole serial number. You just wanna go to the back of your laptop and see whatever your serial number is. So I'm just gonna put in my serial number and click on submit. Remember this is just for HP. You might need to navigate to different areas for Acer or Dell or any other laptop you have. Okay, here you go. You want to then click on uh, this. You want to go to product homepage, all right? Just gonna go to product homepage. See the HP Pavilion 15. I'm gonna go down, all right? Then they'll go uh, manuals, all right? You want to click on the product manuals. So as soon as you're at manuals, uh, do this on the Acer site too. Uh, I'm just gonna. Uh, or assets, whatever, whatever you have, you just want to go to uh, the manuals. Uh, you can you can have Dell.com. You might have Dell. You might have Asus. Whatever company you have, you just want to go to their website. You want to click on maintenance and service guide. All right, this will give all your specifications. Basically, we are servicing our laptop ourselves by actually upgrading it. So I'm just gonna scroll through the thing. Uh, service guide. All right, we're just gonna go all the way down. You wanna find the place where it says where your RAM is upgradable up to. All right, so we're gonna go past the contents. It should be in the start itself. All right, there we go. We have product description. Alright, it will show the processors that are attached to the system board. If this is written, unfortunately, a processor is not upgradable like mine. So I'm going to go down. Uh, the RAM is 99% upgradable. The integrated RAMs suck, so it might be time to get a new PC if your RAM is integrated. I'm going to go to the memory, category memory. Show you the description to SODIMM. Customer accessible slash upgradable memory module slots. If it says customer upgradable and upgradable, that means you can upgrade. All right, it'll show DDR3L. It'll sh this is the kind of RAM you want. DDR3L. This is the speed you want. 1600 MHz. Supports up to 12 gigs max system memory. All right. So, I can upgrade my PC from 4 gigs to a full 12 gigs. It'll show you the RAM configurations you can have. Alright, you can have 8, 8, 8 gigs plus 4 gigs. You can have 8 gigs plus 4 gigs. You can have 4 gigs plus 2 gigs, 4 gigs plus 2, 2 gigs, or just 1, 2 gig. 
So you can have from 2 GB to 12 GB. All right, as you can see, the hard drive, if you want to go and upgrade the hard drive, I'm not going to be showing you how to do that in this video. If you would like to upgrade the hard drive, make sure you give me down in the comments below. I'll think about making this too for you guys. And as you can see, it supports the following hard drives. 1 terabyte, 5,400 RPM, 750 gig, and 500 gigs. As you can see, supports M SATA, supports 24 gigs SATA drive with system memory up to 8 gigs. So 24 gigs is practically nothing. So I'm just going to stick with the hard drive and I'm going to ever upgrade this. So basically, you want to focus on the memory part. You want to see how much it supports, the type, DDR3 or DDR4, and the speed. Once you've got those, those are the main things. Um, if you want to see how to upgrade your processor, you can always tell me down in the comments below. But processor in most are just attached to the system board, so less chance of you getting to upgrade that. Now we're going to go straight. Uh, so, I mean, that's what you have to do for the HP. It's really simple. You just need to go to maintain into service guide. If you have something else such as Acer or something else, you can just always go to support, uh, drivers and manuals, it's almost the same in everything. See, uh, serial number, you'll get it like that. Dell, go to support, alright, go to product support, uh, for Asus, go to service, uh, find support, and you can always just... All right, yeah. You can always just choose your whatever your product is and you can easily find the support. So after you've got your support, I've got my manual open right here. You want to put the exact specifications for your RAM that you're going to need to buy. Now if we go down, you're going to need to go to the memory part. All right. I need DDR3L 1600 megahertz. Now I'm just going to search DDR3L 1600 that's the speed of your RAM megahertz now how much 8 GB or 4 GB as you can see this is the variant I want the 12 gigs variant now as you can see over here it says 8 GB plus 4 GB now currently uh, 4 GB is already installed from this the company manufacturing so I'm gonna need to put another 8 gigs so I'm just gonna type here 8 gig RAM alright I'm just gonna click on enter uh, you can buy from anywhere uh, Amazon Flipkart wherever you want there we go crucial I uh, usually provides a lot of upgrading stuff so I'll be giving the link for uh, this RAM down in the description as you can see, 8 GB single DDR3, DDR3L, 1600 megahertz. So that's exactly what we want, alright? Check it out, see how it is. Alright, uh, so you just want to go ahead and buy that RAM. You can buy any RAM as long as it has 1600 megahertz. It's a DDR, uh, according to your laptop actually. This according to mine. So once you've purchased your RAM according to whatever your system says, make sure it doesn't exceed the max system memory, otherwise you'll be in a lot of trouble because your system is actually at risk of short circuiting. So a uh, 12 GB max system, as you can see currently my one is upgraded to 12 gigs. I've already upgraded mine. So now uh, without much to do, I'm going to get straight into the hardware for you guys and show you in detail what to do. So here I have it in front of me, uh, as you can see my laptop in front of me. Uh, as for the serial number, you can see the serial number in these specifications over here. Alright, so once you've got it in front of you, as you can see the hard drive, uh, the, like, the hardware for my computer uh, is actually, it has a panel over here, if you could see. It actually has a dedicated panel over here for the RAM and the Wi-Fi card. Now your PC might not be like this, if it's not like this, then just leave down in the comments below, I'll make another video how to make it if your PC doesn't have a panel. Now as you can see I have bought a RAM over here, this is an 8 gigs RAM, see over here, it is uh, a Samsung RAM, 8 gigs, 1600 megahertz. so this RAM will work perfectly for my PC, and I've got a screwdriver, 
Now, uh, you want to get straight into it. You want to start by opening your panel. Your panel should have two screws. You want to open both of them. They won't come fully out. They'll just stay in there. Just want to open them halfway. They'll only look halfway, but they'll actually be full open. I want to open both the screws, all right? They'll stay in there. And then you want to go get a minus screwdriver, kind of like this, a minus one. And you want to actually put pressure on all sides and carefully remove it. Make sure you do this up really carefully. You don't want to end up damaging your computer. All right, from each side, even pressure. And you want to lift your panel up, all right? Your panel should nicely come up like this. You want to put your panel to one side, and in front of you will be your RAM slots. All right, as you could see before, right now on my PC there are two RAM slots. This is the original system installed RAM. See this blue one? This is the original HP, four gigs of RAM. I'm gonna let it stay there. All right, so it's just gonna stay there. And now here is my eight gigs of RAM that I want to install. Super simple. You want to carefully insert it, you want to see the slots, you want to, first, uh, I'm just going to remove these wires of the Wi-Fi card, they're obstructing, you want to remove them, put them to one side, take your RAM, carefully insert it, and apply gentle pressure from the top till you hear a click. From both sides, the RAM should be enclosed. Now as you can see, I have successfully upgraded my RAM. All right, I've put an eight gig right next to a four gig and I'm just gonna replace the Wi-Fi card ports. Obviously you can also upgrade a Wi-Fi card, but that doesn't really help. I suggest you actually play with a LAN cable if you're gonna be using it for gaming. So I'm just gonna plug in back the Wi-Fi card cables so my Wi-Fi card is still functional. All right, uh, so once you can see, both the RAMs are inserted. As you can see, my max was 12 gigs, so I cannot make it 16 gigs. It'll have to remain 12 gigs, so that's practically it. As soon as you've inserted the RAM into the slot, uh, I'm going to go ahead and replace the panel. Just going to put it on, and I'm going to be taking my screwdriver again. And screwing the panel down. Make sure you don't do it too tight. Alright, I'm gonna go. Make sure uh, you do this after your computer is closed for like half an hour because otherwise there's a risk of static shock and you want to press down on the panel until you hear the click from all sides. Press down on it. Your panel should be perfectly fixed again into your PC. And as soon as it's fixed, you can turn it over, all right, and start up your PC just like you would normally. And your PC will work perfectly. So if your PC has a panel behind it, it's super easy to upgrade. Uh, and you'll be surprised why you didn't do it sooner. As soon as you've upgraded your RAM, it will work much faster. Uh, if this video worked for you, uh, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. After you've opened your laptop, you just want to click on uh, the on button. As soon as it boots up, uh, it will automatically add the RAM. You don't need to do anything extra. Uh, if you want to check it, just go to the, my, uh, this PC, right click on it, click on properties, and you can see the RAM. It would have upgraded from whatever you had before to whatever you have after the upgrade. So it was really simple and nothing extra you need to do for software, it's all hardware. Just need to purchase the RAM, you need a screwdriver and your PC and you're done. So I hope you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you would like any more videos related to this, if you don't have a PC with a panel, don't forget to tell me down in the comments below, I will definitely get back to you. So that's it for now, I hope this worked really good for you guys. And now you can have a better experience, a better computing experience.